I don't know what to do, you guys. It's live and I'm scared. L and are there people looking at me right now? Is there, there's nobody. It says nobody's looking at me right now. Okay, good. Who? Anybody live? Look at there's nobody here. Because they're just they're waiting. Is it you jumped on early. That's why. Oh, oh look at that! Go. Boom, boom, boom! Now everybody's coming in. Hey, everybody! How you doing? This is Zach Bagans coming at you from the Haunted Museum with my good old pal, A.K.A. Aaron Goodwin. <laughs> so I'm going to switch this over uh, to our buddy here, Tommy. Can you switch that? Do you see us? Yes, I can. Do you see it? Yeah. Is it still live and everything? It's still live, sir. Is, there, is the number going up? The that number is going are... up. Okay. Does that look okay like this? Yes. Or like this? We have a new cameraman here operating uh, my cell phone. So we just want to make sure that we're still live. You are alive. Are we still live? Yes, you are still live. Now look at the cell phone. Get out! Go quick! <laughs> <laughs> so we are actually in my haunted museum right now uh, with Aaron and our buddy Redbone. <laughs> Don't look at him the wrong way. He will do things that you do not want him to do those things. Redbone, you behave. So uh, this is just one of the rooms uh, of my haunted museum. Um, I collect a lot of weird stuff. I collect a lot of dark stuff. I collect a lot of stuff. You would ask, why are you collecting that stuff? That's the kind of stuff I collect. Like a serial killer's art. This is called, um, <laughs> this is some uh, original John Gacy paintings. Uh, John, Casey, John Gacy, as you know, was the uh, killer clown. So um, what I want to talk to you about is tonight's brand new episode of Ghost Adventures. And there's a reason why we are sitting in this room, which uh, is the jail room. And these are real jail bars that we got from a jail in Iowa. So all the stuff in here is from a real jail. So it carries with it the energy of and jails. And you can feel it inside this museum. I'm shaking. Each, each room is I feel like I'm nervous, nervous, but I'm not nervous. And it's just weird. <laughs> it's weird. I got so, sweaty palms. Look, it's so weird. Sweaty palms? Yes. This, <laughs> wipe them on your pants. I have right been. Now. I'm all in. It's the What's room. Wrong I'm you? nervous. The room. Are you nervous? nervous? You can't be nervous. I'm not life. nervous because of the live. I'm nervous because of the room. <laughs> it's just museum. You do get vibes when you go oh. in here. But um, there is a reason why we're at my haunted museum right now. There is a reason why we, why we are in the jail room and that reason is these letters Aaron hold that are these letters right here now get a close-up of this shot right here Tommy can you see that name everybody do you see what that says and do you see what this says California Women's Facility State Prison these are actual letters from serial killer Dorothea Puente um, Dorothea Puente was an old lady and she ran a boarding house and what she would do is is that she would have these older vulnerable um, people stay at her house she would manipulate them and uh, she would actually cash their social security checks and take their money but that's wow. not all the worst thing that she would do she would kill them she would kill these people in her house in Sacramento and I'll tell you what, I've been to a lot of locations before, but when I step foot inside that house, the energy inside that house was so heavy, so dark, so disturbing. One of the most disturbing parts, Aaron, was we, well, the coolest part for us is that we actually had the detective that was in charge of the whole case when Dorothy Puente got arrested. That was a great interview. Yeah, he's the one who found the first body buried in her yard. She and buried, buried tons of seven, bodies. Seven, seven, seven bodies, know of, but that, that we, we know, know of. of that but we know of. what's cool, I'm going to go ahead and say, what's cool is in the episode, uh, Jay's out front gets the... It does not get to the evidence yet. I want to And then on, when we go back in later on at night... Don't, no, 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 not yet. We can't prove it. I don't want to get into the evidence yet. Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it over to you in a second. Before we did the investigation... We had, I believe his name was uh, Cabrera, Detective Cabrera. There it was. Um, he agreed to come in and actually help us investigate this case. And the investigation, obviously, that, that we were doing was paranormal things going on. Um, there is a 91-year-old lady 
that is living inside of the house where Dorothy Puente lived and killed and all these people. Affected. I believe they killed nine bodies in the house. Seven were, were found in the yard. I think that's right. Yeah. And the, the first thing that I thought of automatically was, is this old lady? Because it was all older people that were being... Being affected by her. Well, yes, and being killed by her. Right. So my first thought was, is, is this lady being affected by the spirit of Dorothy Puente? Because one right. thing that we've right. learned when we've investigated serial killer houses... Even beyond death, the spirits of these serial killers still like to remain in control. Yeah. Right. We, remember right. With the, yeah. her Baumeister's case and all that. So they will still affect them. And so, Aaron, the one thing that disturbed me the most is when we went there is when Cabrera came in before, during our interviews, and he looked at the floor. And he said, this is the original wooden floor yeah. that they would drag the bodies Which, down. Which, even you have original stuff. Right. Yeah. And, and he said that when he went there investigating the case, he lifted up the carpet where they would store or kill the bodies in the death room. Mm -hmm. And then they would drag the bodies outside down the staircase. But he lifted up the carpet and he saw all the body fluids right. absorbed into the wooden floor. Those wooden floors have never been changed. So just think, all the, the energy that's attached to that material substance. We that, found out. <laughs> like, don't think about it because it happened. That, <laughs> that now in the, in the spirit world, that energy is still reverberating. Still and and uh, it, it still contains all of the suffering and all of the pain and right. all of that. And from the investigation, we found out that uh, they're still trying to tell how many more deaths. Are they they're talking about that now? Yeah. They're talking about, like... There's confirmed so many deaths, but when your spirits are telling you more and it keeps coming up, you realize there's spirits stuck there trying to tell the truth and trying to explain what really happened and how many other people are laying there that weren't counted. Right. And you know what? This isn't the first time where we've investigated a case um, that has been kind of a cold case file. Right. Uh, to where their, their things aren't known. So they actually found a body in the yard without a head, uh, I believe without the head and the arms. And they, yeah. they still, the, the detective told us that they still have never found the head or the arms. Right. So this serial killer took her pen and focused her words, her evil words, her evil thoughts onto this paper that I'm holding today. So the energy is here now with me in this museum. Maybe that's why I'm so nervous because like the episode tonight... That's no, you're, let me tell you why you're nervous. Because of this. No, let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you why you're nervous. And and uh, I actually saw this today on Twitter. Should I lay down? No, this is a serious thing though, Aaron. You're nervous because we have been overexposed to yeah. to hauntings, to paranormal locations. Every other week we're Every doing this. Every other week for what, nine, ten years? It's getting darker, it's getting deeper, and you know, we're we're taking a bigger toll than we ever have when we first started doing this ten years ago. It's been getting darker and deeper and everything. Well we're just Especially we're we're more sensitive to the energy. And speaking of sensitives, uh, in tonight's episode, brand new ghost adventures, tonight on Travel Channel, nine eight Centra. Dorothea Puente Murder House. This is an amazing location. It's, it's an unfortunate location for the victims that lost their lives there in such an evil, sick, twisted way uh, by the hands of this devilish woman who, who just looks like an old, nice grandma. Um, but speaking of sensitives, tonight we invite the Perrys, yes. uh, uh, Michael and Marty Perry, who to us are our favorite psychics to work with. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. amazing. And what they, oh, what they if you want to talk, I don't know because I'm like we're telling too much. <laughs> and we're getting too well. What they do, we bring them in blindfold. We take out all the stuff that shows proof. Of we did bring them blindfolded. We brought them in from the airport blindfolded. Blindfold. They didn't know they anywhere didn't know where they were going. They just knew they were in California up north, right? And well, Sacramento, right? right. Because right. that's where they landed. And then uh, what was like? How long was the drive? Yeah, uh, I don't know. That must have been weird, all blindfolded, driving yeah. a half hour. They, they had no idea. Zach and I, we just took it, and Jay took everything out that represented what the house was, and then they got there. We walked them up blindfolded, we took it off, and, and the what they did, they wouldn't have known. I can't say it. It's just so it's amazing, because when you watch it, you're like, oh, great, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, dude, and it's just, I got the chills. 
This yeah, they, they, this they, they watch tonight. When you watch tonight, a few hours, uh, 9, 8 Central Travel Channel, Brand New Ghost Adventures, Dorothea Puente Murder House. When you watch tonight, pay very close attention to Michael and Marty and the details that they pick up on that there is no absolute way in hell that they could know these details because yeah. we got them firsthand from the detective. Uh, that are not published. Or? That aren't published. So, so watch what they do tonight. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, we go there to help a 91-year-old lady who saw the spirit of Dorothea Puente there. Uh, she's in fear for her own life uh, uh, from from Dorothea Puente. Um, and then uh, the last thing before we before we go, uh, in one week, in one week from today. We will be doing our, our darkest, most disturbing um, Halloween special ever to date, uh, Route 666, uh, next Saturday, it's a two hour Halloween special, we literally get in a bus and we travel the roads to hell, and we investigate <laughs> cases of extreme possessions, uh, guys that have been possessed that, that have tried to kill, uh, we go to a haunted forest, the Goatman's Forest. And that's all I'm going to say. But what I will say is that a member of our crew uh, quit. And uh, it's a little personal to us. And uh, this person uh, quit because of what she experienced uh, during this uh, filming of Route 666. Um, and we will let you know and show you exactly what happened to her um, next Saturday. So uh, again, it was awesome seeing you guys uh, again live, uh, coming at you from my haunted museum here uh, oh, in the jail scary. room. <laughs> it's so scary. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to go with us inside the house of a serial killer, Dorothea Puente, who wrote this letter, who killed nine people in that house, seven bodies that were exhumed from that dirt in her front yard. We are going to go inside that house, man, I'm pumped up. Wait, wait till you see what we get on the Paranormal Puck. I yes. have that. I have to tell you. Let me see it. Let me see also, it. Also, also, real let quick. Let me switch this. Wait, thing. Real quick. This is important. Join us tonight at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, or 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 o'clock West Coast Time. What's up with that voice? I don't know. It's just hard. What are, what are you? I don't know. But we'll be live tweeting on what is called Twitter. What, the, so the voice go is ahead and again. join us the voice and tweet is... with us what is because this it's going to be so fun what is this and voice? enjoyable to watch with you guys. Are we you... call it the GAC family. It's Saturday night. Okay, we're going to get going now. And with that said, bathroom makes sure to use the restroom and watch the show. And then you're just like, oh, you know. It's Can I be fun. done now? I don't know. I'm waiting for you to turn it off. Okay, so see you guys talking. later. So in that said, see you later. See you later.